Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that seawater contains uranium? The concentration of uranium in seawater is about 3 parts per billion or 3 milligrams per cubic meter. Taking the total volume of the ocean into account, it turns out that at any given time, there are at least 4 billion tons of uranium in seawater. That is about 500 times the uranium known to exist in land-based ores. 1 gram of uranium-235 fission releases as much energy as 2700 kg of coal. Nuclear power can be used to generate electrical power in a nuclear power plant. In this video, we will talk about the layout of a nuclear power plant and its components. In a nuclear power plant, the energy released by nuclear fission is used to generate electricity. So what is nuclear fission? Well, I presume you guys would know what fission is. If not, that's fine. Let me explain. Fission in the general sense means splitting. When it's nuclear fission, it means that the nucleus of an atom splits into smaller nuclei. Now, there's a lot of energy that holds together atoms. When we split these atoms, then a very large amount of energy is released. This splitting of the atom, if not performed in controlled environments, can lead to disastrous results. Hence, much thought is put into designing the layout for a nuclear power plant while keeping in mind the necessary precautions. A nuclear power plant has the following components. A nuclear reactor, a heat exchanger, a steam turbine, a generator, and a condenser. A nuclear power plant is shown in the diagram here. Let's discuss the components. First component is the nuclear reactor. It's a device that is used to facilitate nuclear fission of uranium-235. It is covered in a thick concrete shield to prevent the leakage of radiation. The nuclear fission taking place in the reactor core is a chain reaction. It is controlled by means of control rods that absorb neutrons. By adjusting the position of control rods, the rate of reaction can be controlled. In a nuclear reactor, the heat produced is used to drive a turbine which in turn drives a generator. Then comes a heat exchanger. A heat exchanger is used to transfer the heat from the reactor core to a coolant. A coolant, usually water, at a lower temperature is used to absorb the heat from the reactor core. Due to this heat, it gets converted into high pressure steam and is used to drive a turbine. Due to the kinetic energy of the steam, the turbine blades rotate, thus converting kinetic energy into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy is further converted to electrical energy by means of a generator. The steam coming out of the turbine is converted back into water by means of a condenser. The condenser has a supply of water from a nearby water source. When the steam comes in contact with the water, it cools down and gets converted into water. This water is recirculated again for extracting heat from the reactor. The water that absorbs heat from steam is cooled down in a cooling tower. This cycle continues and this is how a nuclear power plant works. A nuclear plant can operate almost all the time. It needs refueling around every 18 to 24 months. Refueling can be done when the demand for electricity is lower. Apart from this, there are some points to be considered while choosing a location for a nuclear power plant. Although the need for water in a nuclear power plant is not as high as in hydroelectric power plants, some water is still needed for cooling purposes. Therefore, a location near a natural water body like a river or seaside is preferred. The waste from a nuclear power plant is radioactive and hence it should be disposed of deep into the earth or far away from the seashore. There is always a possibility of radioactivity however small it may be. Thus, due to safety concerns, a nuclear power plant should be situated away from populated areas. And due to the use of heavy machinery and equipment, the availability of transportation facilities is a must. Well, that's all about the layout of a nuclear power plant. We'll be back with another video on the working of a nuclear reactor. So stay tuned and stay safe. Until then, bye.